So hopefully you've got to a stage now where you've got loads of little tips and tricks to design your own concept car and just to make your design entry stand out from some of the others. What's really good is showing a really good eye for detail. So as you can see, I've started to add steering wheels to my design. I've added decal. I've added some motors at the back so this can double up as a speedboat because that plays a part in the sustainability challenge of this competition. As well, if we look at this from the bottom, you can see that I've also added these enclosures, which in my mind is going to help with keeping those wheels and the engine watertight whilst allowing us to use this and double it up as a speedboat. As I say though, generally an eye for detail and creativity and personality through your fusion skills is what's really going to set you apart in this competition. Another thing that you can do just as some bonus points and to impress those judges is you can start to add a few extras in there as well. So what you can start to do is you can start to create technical drawings. So you can go to File, New Drawing and we can do these from a design. And what's really good about this competition compared to most work that you'll do in school, you are actually allowed to use the automatic generation and, and use Fusion's built-in AI to help generate those drawings for you. Once you've done that, you can open up those drawings and generally what it'll do, it'll create a number of different sheets, just showing off different aspects of your design. Another way you can do it is by adding those details to separate components that you have inserted into your design. For example, something as simple as adding some thread to your tire just shows that you thought about even the smallest aspects of your design. Some other ways of showing off your are if you start to use some of the other workspaces just to show off your design. For example, in the render environment, Start to get some different images of how you want your design to look. Once you've saved one of those images, you can click on this render as a turntable. And what it will give you is this rotating render, which just shows off your design from all aspects. And if you want to impress the judges even more, these are the above and beyond elements to include in your design. All of which you can find video tutorials for on our website at cadcameducatorshub.com and all that leaves me with to do is to say thank you for your support and for watching these videos and I'm really excited to see your design entries for this year. So now for me it's good luck and goodbye.